<laughs> Yummy taters. Hi, Mama. How are you feeling, Miss Beaky? You about ready to have some babies? Yeah. You getting ready? You do tomorrow. So it could be any time now, huh? Been keeping a close eye on this sweet lady. Checking on her frequently. Making sure she's comfortable. Yeah. I wonder if that yawn is like with goats or it's a sign that they could be experiencing contractions. Hmm. We'll know soon enough, I guess. Let's let you out. All right, Mama. You want to come out? You can. She's got a nice shady area if she wants to deliver out here or in her pen. Your choice, Mama. Wherever you feel comfortable. Got a pile of hay over here in her nest. So if she wants to use that, she's got that as an option too. She's definitely looking bigger, lower down on that belly. Yeah. Is your milk coming in yet? Kind of looks like you might have an increased size down there too. Yeah. You sweet girl. Oh, yawning again. I'll be keeping a close eye on you. When I see yawning with my goats, that means I, I keep close, close eye. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Looks like those back ones are starting to fill up some. Yesterday was three months, three weeks, and three days since this sweet Miss Piggy was introduced to her boars again, and they had a breeding. So, whether that first breeding took or it was a couple of days later, they stayed together. So, we should be seeing piglets any day now. She definitely seems more subdued this morning. So I think that she is probably going to go within the next couple of days. Her belly's really round underneath and it looks like she's much lower and it does look like her milk is starting to come in. So we shall see. I just refreshed her water, put a little bit of fresh cool water in her mud bath for her to cool off in. I didn't want to put too much because I don't want the babies to be in that but she does have her nest back there behind the pallet wall. I think she might be in the early stages of labor now, actually, just by her behavior. She just seems a lot more subdued than usual. She doesn't usually stay laying down when I come to visit her. She usually gets up and walks around. Brought some treats for her, checking on her again. Man, seeing the hollowed out and the roundness really makes me think of how the goats look right when they're in labor. And the ligaments where they would be on a goat are also sunken in. Totally different from this morning. I could be wrong because I'm not used to pigs in labor, but I'd be willing to bet she's going to go in the next 48 hours. That'll be my guess. We'll see how good is my instinct. <laughs> I should have been a livestock doula. She's sweet. Gave her a couple of bananas and a cucumber. It's a little treat. Keep your energy up. Oh my gosh, the babies are so active. You can kind of see it there at my fingertips. Oh wow, right there. I can feel them moving, kicking. 
They are really active today. I can't believe she's still pregnant. Those babies are doing good. Oh, I can feel so much movement under my hand. I wish you guys could see it. Super healthy. You like that? Well, it's been two days. Look at her milk now. Oh my goodness. I thought it was looking big before. This is way more in milk than I thought she was two days ago. So, we're still getting closer. Still checking on her frequently. I should have known she'd do it when I wasn't looking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that a ninth? All black, some with racing stripes. Oh my goodness, how exciting, guys. We've got babies. Good job, Mama. I got a banana for you. Had a banana for her and some sardines that the boys didn't finish. So that is a very good, nice treat for mama. She looks good. The placentas have passed. We have a count of nine babies. Six are girls. So that's really good odds. Four of them with racing stripes. I'm not sure which ones have the racing stripes, boy or girl, because I just checked them quick. Wasn't sure how she was going to be about me being in here, but she is being super sweet. Odin came with me to check on her. It was his idea. He loves going outside. So he was pointing at the door and I said, yes, let's go check the piggy. Did you see the babies? What do you see? What are you pointing at? Did you see the mama and the babies? He sees something over there. Where do you want to go? I got him in a box. He wants out of the box. <laughs> Babies look good. Mama looks good. I'm so happy and blessed. So grateful. These guys have officially been listed. They are listed on Craigslist. You just look in Carrollton, Georgia. Cooney Cooney. You should be able to find them. No problem. I do have it posted on my Facebook group, Wholesome Roots Farmstead Friends. So, if you are looking for registered or registerable Cooney Cooney piglets, these are three months old and ready to wean and ready to go to their new homes. We will be keeping Big Mama, Peaches, and her companion, Bill. And we will not be keeping one of the babies this time. So, we will be breeding Big Mama again to her friend, Bruce. And she will have another litter that we will keep one of the boars off of. So, super exciting. It's very bittersweet because I don't want any of these to leave. I wanted to keep all of them. <laughs> so, out with the old and in with the new. We have babies that are being sold and leaving the farm. Their breeder has decided that we could have big mama so we're super excited about that she's 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 really stolen our heart in the time that she's been here so that's just something we're super excited about and now we have three months to find new homes for the american guinea hog cooney cooney cross that were just born so if you know anybody looking those will be available at a much lower price point they are not registered we're actually looking at keeping the price low on those to help people who might not be able to afford a registered cooney cooney purebred um it's definitely a higher price point for the registered ones but they are so worth it these are um, from oregon lines so there's no inbreeding like there is in the most of the southeastern areas so if you are interested let me know and i will uh get you in touch with their owner breeder and she will sell them bye you saying bye say we'll see you next time on wholesome roots 
<laughs> Stinker.